Hello guys, today I want to tell you a quick story about automated tests and GitHub actions from our own Laravel daily repository. So example how automated tests could save you from deploying wrong thing. So on GitHub you can set up the check of running automated tests automatically on pull requests for example. Of course that requires you to have the automated test in the first place with PHP unit or pest, that's your personal preference. But in this video I want to emphasize the example how those tests pay off in the future while the project is already up and running for quite a long time and by doing those automated checks you're kind of ensuring that everything goes smoothly. So our example, so we developed a quick feature about testing your Laravel skills and we were using Markdown to convert the solution written in Markdown to HTML. This was kind of a routine new feature, nothing really fancy because we used Markdown in the past for other models so nothing really fancy or so we thought. You know sometimes it happens you deliver the feature and you think that everything will work, you test it manually and you're kind of confident that everything will go okay. Ideally you should run the automated tests locally before committing but we're all humans sometimes we're in a hurry to deliver something. So this is exactly what happened the feature was pushed to develop branch of course not to live immediately but then when doing the pull request from develop to main branch this was automatically triggered a check on GitHub Actions that runs PHP unit tests. And then everything fell apart. 93 errors in PHP unit. So out of 94 tests, 93 fail. With the same error that markdown convert expects string but null was given. And the underlying reason was the package that we use for convert which requires string. But it so happened that at the time of conversion original solution may be null. We didn't think about that case while testing manually and that's another lesson. Both for ourselves I admit we're guilty here and for you guys so while testing manually you often don't come up with scenarios that could happen for other users or other cases and the solution was pretty easy it's only one of the versions of the solution my colleague Modestas fixed it with just adding if statement here and also change that from boot to booted because this is now the recommended way of using that logic in the models of Laravel and then this is how that pull request actually looks like so x means test failed but then after the second commit to the same pull request it succeeded so you can check the details here for example and it will show you this is the list the process of what was done setting up the environments creating database and then execute test via php unit and in this case all tests succeeded so with this example i want to show you how to automate part of your workflow when deploying features showing our own story kind of admitting that we didn't do everything according to the best practices that's why we're all humans and personally i really like to share real life stories so this is one of them with the idea that automation automation part of the deployment potentially may help you from bugs in production and how to set that up I have a separate video or in fact a few of them and I will link those in the description below or you can just search the channel for github actions this is just one example what you can set up on github actions to automate the deployment and delivery process what do you think about this story? Have you been rescued at least once by such GitHub actions or automated tests? Tell your stories in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.